A very warm welcome to this guided Bateko breathing session. And so today I'm going to guide you through the most gentle variations of the breathe light or reduced breathing exercise. And as we go through the exercise, we'll very gently reduce the amount of air that we're breathing. This helps to improve oxygen delivery, calm the mind and the body. And used regularly, it can help to reset our breathing and nervous system for optimal health. At certain points, you might notice a gentle shortage of air, also known as air hunger. This is a positive sign that healing carbon dioxide is accumulating within the body. If it feels too strong at any point, then you can pause the recording Just take a break for 30 seconds and then continue. Okay, so when you're ready, coming into a comfortable upright posture and ideally having your hips slightly higher than your knees. Closing your mouth for optimal breathing and then just bringing a gentle smile to your face. And this just reassures our nervous system that we're safe. Just helps us to feel a little bit calmer. And then we'll begin by tuning in to the feel of our body breathing. If you're new to breathing exercises, then you might find it helpful to bring one hand to rest on your chest. And the palm of your other hand just above your navel. Or if you prefer, you can tune into your breathing from the inside and just rest the palms of your hands on your upper legs. And to begin with, just tuning in to the feel of your body breathing. So just feeling the movements and sensations of your breathing within your body or underneath your hands. And then just allowing your belly to begin to relax. Letting your belly be soft and round. And as you do that, you might just notice that your breathing drops down a little. That you start to feel more movement in your abdomen or into your lower hand. And this means that your breathing's becoming more diaphragmatic, more driven by the diaphragm. That's a primary breathing muscle that sits at the bottom of the rib cage. And this might feel a little more calming as well. Okay, so this is step one, really. Awareness of breathing so that we know how our breathing already is before we make any changes. The next thing we'll do is we'll just make some adjustments to our posture. So what I'd like you to do is just to come into a more upright posture. And if you imagine that there's a piece of thread attached to the top of your head, gently lifting upwards, creating length in the body, and a sense of space in the middle of the body around the region of the bottom of the rib cage. And just checking that you feel balanced. So rather than leaning backwards or forwards, that you're pretty much in a straight line at the back of the head. Shoulder blades and buttocks are all in a line. And perhaps just noticing how by sitting upright in this way, Our breathing just naturally becomes a little bit lighter. So this is step two, comfortable upright posture. Just naturally reduces the amount of air that we're breathing. And then just beginning to tune into the gentle flow of air just inside the tip of your nose. Feeling this slightly cooler air 
as it flows into the nose and a slightly warmer air as it flows back out through the nose. And because the nose is a really sensitive place to monitor the flow of air, just having our attention here just tends to soften our breathing a little. And we can also just have an intention to gently let the breath be soft, quiet and gentle. So no big breaths here. Again, we're not trying to restrict or constrain the breath. Just having a gentle awareness of our breathing at the tip of the nose and the lightest of intention to breathe softly and quietly. And just noticing how that affects your breathing. So you might feel a gentle shortage of air, a mild air hunger. Don't worry if you don't, the breath might not be light enough for you yet. If it feels too strong, just letting your breathing go, letting go of any sense of doing anything with the breath. Now, if it would be helpful for you now, you're welcome to take a little break. But if you feel really nice, calm and relaxed, then we'll go into the next stage and we'll start to bring relaxation through the body. And this will help to reduce the amount of air we're breathing even further. So just allowing the mouth and the jaw to begin to soften and relax. The tongue is relaxing, softening all the way up to the root of the tongue. Just letting the whole of the lower half of the face become loose and slack. The cheeks and the smile muscles, the mouth and the jaw. Allowing all the muscles down the sides of the neck to begin to lengthen and open up. Bringing a softness into the neck and the throat. Letting the shoulders drop down away from the ears. So the muscles on the tops of the shoulders are just beginning to melt, relax downwards. There's a sense of letting go in the arms and the hands. So just noticing if there's any gripping in the hands and just letting the fingers begin to soften. And letting go of anything that you've been holding on to. Allowing all the muscles in the chest to begin to soften. Around the collarbones. The pectoral muscles. Letting all the Little intercostal muscles between the ribs begin to soften and open up. And the belly is softening and relaxing. Belly soft like jelly. Letting the pelvis soften down into the chair. And 
letting go of any holding in the buttocks or the pelvic floor. And releasing the upper legs if there's any clenching there. And letting your heels drop down towards the ground as the calf muscles begin to soften and lengthen. Just a sense of letting go in the lower legs. Softness in the feet and the toes. So the whole body is softening and relaxing. And as the body relaxes, so too does the breath. So perhaps noticing if your breathing feels a little bit slower, a little bit lighter than it did before. And on each out breath, just allowing the whole body to soften even 1% more. And just noticing through this relaxation, as we breathe a little bit less air, that might bring up a feeling of air shortage or air hunger. If you don't feel that yet, then maybe just noticing if you can hear your breathing. So what would it be like just to really quieten your breath so that you can no longer hear it, so it becomes silent? Quiet as a mouse. And just going gently with that idea, if you start to get a lot of air hunger or if it feels stressful, then just let it go. If you still don't feel any air hunger, then maybe just imagining that there's a feather just underneath the tip of your nose and you're just gently softening and slowing your breathing just by five or ten percent so that, that feather is hardly moving just until you start to feel the first sign of a shortage of air Again, if your heart starts to race or you start to feel tense or stressed, then just let that go. Just treating it as an experiment. You can come back and try that again in the future. But if it feels good, yeah, maybe just continuing with that soft, light breathing. Just breathing a little bit less air than what you would normally do. Breathing slightly softer, slightly slower. We're not slowing our breathing right down. It's not one of those slow breathing exercises. We're just making a gentle adjustment. Listening to the body for feedback. So if there's more saliva in the mouth, if you feel warmer or calmer, and maybe have a little bit more mental clarity, then these are positive signs. If you start to feel tense or stressed, or if your heart is racing, and just easing off, letting go of the breath, or just taking a little break. And we'll just go for another 30 seconds. 
checking in with your posture, gentle smile on the face, just gently softening the breath. And on each out breath, just allowing the whole body to relax. Okay then, and then you can let go of the breath. We just gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. You can blink the eyes open. Maybe just having a look around the space that you're in. And just noticing how you feel. Thank you for breathing with me today. See you next time.